Okay, so here we're dealing with some laws of exponents problems. And in the first one, the law we're going to deal with is anything raised to the power of a to a power equals the product of those powers. And in this case, we have 2 squared, right, to the x power equals 2 to the 6th. Well, if I multiply these two exponents, and if these two sides of the equation are equal, that also means that 2x should equal 6, right? They have the same bases and everything. If you divide both sides by 2, right, we get x equals 6 over 2 or equals 3. So here, x is equal to 3. In the next one, we have a similar law. We're multiplying, right, so here we end up adding the bases, right? The idea is that if you have any number right, to the a power times any number to the b power, you do always get x to the a plus b, right? That's going to give us a good reference point here. Um, so here we're solving for y. How do we do that? Well, we have 4 squared times 4 to the y equals negative 2. We'll just highlight the exponents, right? Here we have 2y and negative 2. So what we can do to figure out y, say 2 plus y should equal negative 2. We subtract 2 from both sides, and we're done. y is equal to negative 4. The next one, we're finding the value of a, a different variable, b. So we have r to the third, right, cubed over r to the b, and we know when we do that, we get r, right, to the sixth. So how might we do this, right? And what could the value of b be? Well, here we have r to the three to the third. So if we have r to the third and we then cube that, what do we have? Well, we multiply these two, right? And it gives a new format to work with. Well, actually, let me scroll down here. Okay, oops. Okay, so if we multiply these two, we get r to the ninth, right? Over r b. And we know that in the end, we're going to get r to the 6th. So we can think of this in terms of our laws. 9 minus b should equal 6. Right, so what value b does that? And the answer is 3.